Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we have a follow-up service call for a brand new installation. This is an Hashizaki ice maker, model number IM500SAB. We just installed this and we got it running and right away we have an E1 error code for an abnormal free cycle. I call technical support to see what they would say as warranty and customer service all day, all of them are closed at the moment. It's a bit late. And I spoke with tech support. Uh, I had suspicion that this thing didn't have refrigerant as this pipe wasn't getting cold or hot during the cycle. So it exceeded the 45 minute time frame to make ice and it shut down. And that's why we have that alarm. what a day what a day so right now after speaking with technical support i didn't want to put on gauges as it's a brand new unit it has a very critical charge i didn't want to lose any refrigerant but i opened i have a reference number from tech support and i put on these probes we have a 4.5 holding charge on the suction and a 5.2 excuse me not holding charge standing pressure for refrigerant 404a and it is 100% clear that we have a refrigerant leak. And with this compressor running for 45 minutes, that couldn't have been good. But apparently there's no low pressure control in this system, which is a huge, huge fail. Unit came with no refrigerant in it. Absolutely horrendous. I asked them, are you guys going to send us a new unit? Like, what's up with this? And who's going to pay for it? They said, they're not sending any new units. You gotta fix it, you gotta find the leak, repair the leak, and then file out warranty information with Hashizaki. That is a huge fail in my opinion for Hashizaki. I always liked them, really, until now. For service, I guess it's cool. Brand new install. Man, watch your back on these. All right, got our gauges connected, nitro connected. Hopefully we even have anything in here. Oh man, our tank is low. We're gonna need another tank. Well, let's see. Got 50 pounds. Mm, yeah. Considering that there's no Pretty much no pressure in here. There's got to be a big leak somewhere. So hopefully we could, could hear this thing. All right, guys. I don't know if you guys can hear it. There's a leak right here. Right at the joint. And what's that telling me? This was an improper connection made at the factory. Made at the factory. Let's see if I can hit it with the spray. Sometimes with like larger leaks, you're not gonna see it. Maybe if I pr put my finger on it. I'm sure you guys can hear it now. because it doesn't show the bubbles you can hear when I rub my finger on it. Unbelievable. I really want to be able to see that. You saw that? You see you can see it a bit now. It's like popping up a bit. Yeah you guys can see the like vibration of the liquid. I get a little more right there you see that and that's the weld right here I could fix it 
But I feel like for a brand new machine that we installed, I feel like we gotta call, I call tech support, so you don't gotta call anybody. You fix it and you fill out warranty information. I feel like we need to complain to customer support or then the sales team and tell them, listen, this is a brand new machine. We don't wanna fix this. We want a brand new machine. It's brand new. Why Why should it be fixed? And then that's just the whole issue. So right now, I'm going to let this be and wait till the morning to call customer service and tell them, hey, we want a brand new machine. Come pick this one up and deliver us a new one. And then, you know, we can go through warrants information for installing a new unit. But this is just absolutely ridiculous you guys saw it unreal we're gonna wrap this one up here and i'll keep you all updated on the story with what happens with this one this is absolutely amazing but if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time